GOP presidential candidate and Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker just signed a bill to spend 250 million tax dollars on a new basketball arena for the Milwaukee Bucks. Now, before I continue here, uh, I want to state for the record, I'm a gigantic NBA fan. I mean, I always get my heart broken because I'm a Knicks fan, been a Knicks fan my entire life, and you know how that goes if you follow the NBA. But nobody loves basketball more than I do. Uh, I absolutely adore it. But having said that, that doesn't mean that I think this state should subsidize my hobby. I think that's ridiculous. You should prioritize things that are absolutely necessary. I mean, this is why I think the state should be involved in something like healthcare and something like education, and we say infrastructure and national defense, because it's supposed to be the things that are absolutely necessary. But here we have $250 million just handed over to build a new stadium. I mean, that's insanity. And not only that, they say that when you really uh, account for all of the money that he's forking over to these people, it's closer to about $400 million. So they have weird, sneaky ways where they make it look like they're not giving money, but they are giving money. So in reality, the dollar figure is closer to $400 million. It's crazy, man. Now, normally, this wouldn't be too big of a deal, except that he's one of the governors who's been working tirelessly to cut social programs and gut education spending and reduce benefits for middle-class people. So that's why this is a big deal. In fact, he cut over $200 million from education. How are you going to cut over $200 million from education and then fork over $400 million for sports? It shows that your priorities are fucked up. But it's not just that his priorities are fucked up, because on top of that, is corruption. So Think Progress explains here, they say, On the very day that Walker began pushing for taxpayers to foot much of the bill for the new arena, one of the team's owners donated $150,000 to his super PAC. The investor, John Hams, has donated directly to Walker's past campaigns as well, to the tune of tens of thousands of dollars, and this year, Walker hired him as his national finance co-chairman. Another Bucks owner, Ted Kellner, gave $50,000 to Walker's super PAC. Aides to Walker have denied any pay-for-play connection. No, but see, that's the thing. I don't give a flying fuck if you deny it, because it's right in front of us. It's right there. There is a paper trail. We can see you gave him money, he did you favors. This doesn't require any kind of, you know, over-the-top interpretation or reading between the lines or trying to find a missing piece to the puzzle. No, it's right in front of us. It's right in front of us. They gave him money. He's like, what do you guys need? Oh, okay. As I cut education, you want me to give you money for the new arena? You got it. Now, meanwhile, what's missing in this whole equation? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the people of Wisconsin? You know, that's the whole idea behind a representative democracy is that Scott Walker is supposed to represent the people. The people are his boss. He's uh, effectively said, fuck that. They're not my boss. My boss uh, is these assholes. My boss are the guys who give me money. Uh, and help me run my campaign, and get me elected that way, and then I'll turn around and help them out, and what ends up happening? A giant circle jerk of money and power, because money begets money, power begets power. He's in the good old boy circuit now, so whatever they want, he delivers, and vice versa. So, this is the way politics really functions in America, and it's bribery. It's corruption. It's ridiculous when it boils down to it, and... I think it's time we start calling it what it is. Unfortunately, Think Progress is the only outlet that I saw that covered this today. Now, they did a fantastic job, but we need to get the word out more, man. And we need to stop, you know, uh, not being strong in our uh, messaging. So, in other words, what we need to do is we just need to call it what it is. Scott Walker is a criminal. 